How's it going guys? I am playing some Alistair with the milkiest of the skins. And obviously I'm not helping my team much right now. That's okay because we're going the Ruby Crystal build. This is the team layout. This is uh, my side versus uh, them. Looks like they got some stuff. Why am I not helping? Because uh, I don't know. Because I'm talking to you guys. Okay, so the goal here is to get really, really tanky with my famous three giant belt start. And the point of this build, uh oh, oh there we go, we're doing good. Uh, the point of this build is basically to get war mogs ticking at level nine. Sometimes it happens at level eight. Uh, sometimes it happens at level ten. But uh, basically, you need 3k health. Watch this. Oh, got her knock up with the. Okay, I'm dead. I'll flash, I guess. I want to survive as long as possible early on, so I can milk this early XP. Uh, getting behind, of course, is very bad in this game. You know that. If you know anything about League. Um, so yeah, that's what we're doing here. We're surviving and we're getting XP. And I might not get a whole lot of XP here. Because I'm just going to watch my allies die. But, you know, such as such as being a moo cow. Oh, man. Okay. My heals. My heals aren't giving me assist. Oh, I was hoping they would. Okay, well, at least I'm getting some XP here. So we got enough for... One belt. So basically, we want uh, enough to finish three belts on our first back, if possible. That's like optimal. Oh, he flashed it. I'll take it. I got his flash. So if I can get 1,800 gold, that's all three belts completed, and I'm ready for the war mogs next. Let's see, knock him up. We'll get back. Try to survive here. Get a little closer. Oh, I got my alt. I might help. I'm not sure really what to do to help here. Guess I can't. I could have dove in and like alted and stuff, but I'm pretty sure I would die. I don't want to die. All right, so we'll hit her. All right, I'm still just milking up the XP. I grabbed a health pack. That was excellent. So this is this is actually a pretty decent start for this type of build. Sure, I could go more aggressive. I usually do. I'll break that stun. Get out of here. We want to survive. Give everyone a heal. Hopefully that gets me an assist. Knock him. Nope. Knock him. Oh, I'm feared. Uh-oh. Uh, I couldn't get the abilities I wanted to get off off, so. Whoops. Stay close. Oh, give a heal out. Very nice. Stay close. We can do the old knock-up trick there. They're very nice. Headbutt pulverize. Very important. Very important to get good at that. Snowball. Okay, we got an assist with it. Uh-oh. She might be dead. I can't help her. I have 1,800. I can do this. I'm just dying. I need to die. I need my three belts. So that was a purposeful death there. There was really no hope of an execute, and I really just need to have items at this point. I have 1,600 health. Now, to put that into perspective, let's look at the next tankiest guy, which is Darius. Let's see how much health he has. There he is. He has 1,500. Well, now... Now I have 2,300. At this level, at level 7. The next guy with health items has 1,500. I have 23. That's... That's 1800, 800 more. So I've got a lot of HP for level 7. I'm going to feel very tanky right now because, well, this is a lot of a health bar to whittle down. So I may try to fight, especially once my ult's up, but I don't really want to get under tower because, uh, what's the 7 seconds? I can reduce tower damage for 7 seconds, but that's not necessarily enough to win a fight at this current level. I don't do a lot of damage. I'm relying on my team. Maybe I'll just, uh, we got to get him out from under tower. Uh-oh. Oh, she didn't actually take much damage. Barely tickled. Why did that only tickle? Okay, I'm leveling W second, I think. Knock them up. Tower's going to hit me. I'm going to alt. And I'm going to start uh, hitting him. Knock him out of there. We can get him. There we go. Very nice. And as you can see, my health bar is still looking very nice. I did lose 400 health, 
which is not very significant when your health bar is this big. So let's do some, let's knock him out of here. We're basically just playing off our team as much as we can. It's nice to have these uh, these guys are just putting out damage. So if I knock someone out of position with this this comp and the way things are going, it's pretty certain that they're going to die, and that's great. That's that's what you want. Oh, very nice. I got an assist. So knock her up, knock her back. She's probably going to jump. Nope. Taking some tower damage. Ah, let's see. There we go. Everything went as planned. Snowball, of course, is what you always need on Alistair. What else could you possibly want? Okay, this is actually a really bad play. I'm going to flash here. I just want to survive to get my war mogs. I think I need 1850. Okay, we're going to stay out of that for now. Knock. Oh, I didn't. Ha I thought I had my Q ready. I could have been bad. I almost saved him. Whoopsie. Oh, very nice. And I'm getting assists here. Yeah, you can shoot me. Ooh, she hits pretty hard. Now I can do this. And I think I'm just going to go down with the ship. Oh, I meant to knock her into my team. That was actually a mistake. I'm somehow magically... Well, I'm dead now. So Warmogs is... Yeah, 1850. I was right. And we'll have that before we res. So very good. We're level 10. And we're going to have Warmogs when we come back. And I'll keep putting levels in uh, Headbutt there. Basically, I, its base damage is very high. So I want to hit people as hard as possible. And I think it reduces the cooldown. This is good, but... It's not always reliable. Sometimes you hit it and it just ends up doing not much. But my opinion is uh, not that of a professional League of Legends player. I just do this for entertainment. So maybe Trample's better. I don't know. This is the way I like doing it. I want the, the headbutt ready to go. We'll get him. All right, he's I'll knock him around. I'll hit my E so I can get a stun on him. Oh, no. I probably shouldn't have ulted, but I want to keep the pressure on, so I did it anyway. Oh, through the stun. No fucks given. All right, I think I have to leave. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, this is actually good, and this is an ideal situation. You might think, oh, that was bad, but remember, I have four mogs, and I have over 3k health. I have 3,200, so look at this health. It's just coming right back. All I got to do is hang out in the back and heal off these waves with my passive and heal my allies and then make plays when I get a chance. I don't have full health when I make that play because this is how Alistair works, and Things just, just get crazy from here. I don't even think you need any other items, honestly, with Alistair. This is it. And ARAM. Alright, so let's take a quick look at the second tankiest guy. Looks like it'd still be Darius. Maybe Jax. He's getting a little, he's got a weird tanky build. I don't, know, I don't understand, but he's doing fine. So maybe it's a meta. Okay, so let's click on Darius. Uh, I had him click. What was his health? He has 1,800 health. And I have... 3,300. Alright, my team is just cleaning it up. I shouldn't have even wasted mana on that Pulverize, honestly, but that's, that's okay. See, that's a different thing about playing Summoner's Rift compared to ARAM. ARAM, you can't go back, obviously, right? But what that also means is you got to conserve your mana sometimes. If you're going to be alive for a long time, you got to think about every little use. Now I got the stun. I think I got the stun. Nope, fiddle, you're out. <laughs> just get him out of the fight. Oh, he dodged a snowball. Very good. See, uh, this is where I want my pulver. Or, yeah, I'll go over here. This is fine. I can take a lot of damage. I'll just heal back up. It's not a big deal. I even have my ult, so I can really just go ham on this guy. Zone him out. He's... We'll just make a play on him. Why not? All right. Very good. So uh, we can beat this down. And yeah, this is like the perfect team to have with Alistair. Super Cal. War Mugs, level 9 tank. All right, so he's out of position. Let's just knock him more out of position, then knock him up so he can't do anything. I'll hit my alt because she's hitting me a bunch. And, uh, yeah, I'm fine. I'll, I'll tank as much damage as you want. I don't even care. This has got two more seconds. Okay, there we go. Now it ran out, so i got to back up. And now if I just hang out here and just, like, don't do anything, I'll be fine. Uh-oh, something hit me. I reset my war Uh Might actually be a good idea to die. I think I have enough for my next item, too. So let me just take a quick look why I'm healing. Uh, yeah, I can buy Dead Man's Plate or Randuin's Omen. Very good. So this does reduce the cooldown by almost a second of another rank in W. There we go. So I want to be able to do these punt and pulverize as much as possible. Headbutt and pulverize. That's kind of the bread and butter of this champ. Alright, well, missed that snowball. 
probably a good one to miss because I was going to do something stupid with no alt. And he's poking me down. Doesn't matter though. He's he's not really hurting me. Oh look, that hurt, didn't it? So if I can get him to waste mana on me and then I get to heal up, that's always good in a ramp. There we go. He's out of position again. We'll headbutt him, knock him up, so he can't do anything. Does this just keep happening with the trundle? All right, this is bad. I got a stun off on Darius. Um, we'll hit him. Notice I'm not headbutting. I'm just saving it. A noob with Alistair would headbutt one of those guys to safety. <laughs> and that's fine. I don't mind dying there. Maybe I could have lived a little bit longer, but it doesn't matter. I have so much gold. And I think I'm actually going to get... <laughs> Look at that magic damage from Viger. That's the biggest threat here. But I'm not worried about that. I kind of let him hit me. I was just like ignoring him. So if I paid attention, I could take less damage. I'm going to get Merc Treads, though. Those, those will be really good. I still got plenty left over. I don't really feel like I need armor, so I'm actually not going to get the items I usually get. And I'm going to go for... Oh, I've rezzed. Spectre's Cal. And we'll just go straight to Spirit Visage because that magic damage. And we're at 4.2k health now. Really getting up there. Uh, no one else has gotten close. Darius looks like he's at 2.3. So I am just absolutely massive for this level right now, as far as trying to take down my health. Look at this health bar. So he's coming in again. I'll just knock him into my team because, hey, this is this has just been a thing. I don't know if he doesn't know how to play Trundle or what's going on there, but it's kind of fun. So that's kind of the point, right? Have some fun. Look at this. Oh, we, we landed a catch. Oh, yeah, I'll use my ult here. He's going to use that. As soon as he comes out, I'm going to punt him. Back into my team. Very good. Alright, nothing to see here. Just a cow on the loose. Broke out of the pasture. Your fence was nothing to me. Alright. Oh, we'll take a little damage here. I guess I'll get out. And let's get in there. Okay. I just basically want to pulverize somebody and knock him into the team. And it looks like Trundle's presenting himself as an easy target once again. Alright, we'll try to survive. He's alting. This should be fine. I'll get a snowball in there. Oh, didn't hit anyone. Let's see if we can grab her or him. Ah, they're staying just out of range of my headbutt. So the trick to landing headbutt pulverize is you wait till it's like super easy, like right here. But I'm not going to do it because I want him to go towards the team. There we go. Easy mode. It's all about that positioning sometimes. So yeah, if you want them to stay in place and like, boom, I probably just, uh oh, uh oh, uh oh, I'm alive, I'm alive. Save me, team. <laughs> yes. Oh my god, I can't believe I lived through that. I'm just gonna sit here and drink some milk. Ah, <sighs> oh, yeah. Let's go. Good game. And that's how you do it. That's how you play Alistair with three belts. Uh, let's see, we gotta honor someone. Let's honor, I think Kasai was doing a lot of damage. So I'm just gonna honor her. Everyone was honorable though, my team was awesome. Yeah, she had the most, Kasai had the most kills. It was, a, it was a nice team to have an Alistair around. Even Jax did okay. He, he was, what is he going, lock it? I don't understand his build, but it worked. He obviously didn't carry, but, you know, he was, like, tanky enough. And here's the damage dealt. Kasai through the roof. Um, damage taken. Cal through the roof. Their Trundle took a lot, too. Mostly from me punting him into my team while they melted him. Let's look at the mitigation. Uh, pretty far up there. Oh, Jax. Nice mitigation. Very nice. Oh, that was a very quick one. Let's see what the comments are. Is there any, any ragers? No? Okay, we got some S's. I got an S. Kendra got an S. And there we go. Good game. Let's give it the GG and we'll end this video. Hopefully you guys enjoyed. See you in the next one. It's been Matt from uh, Vile Dragons Slamming Channel. See you in the next one. Peace out.